Right, so this is going to be great in a minute. I am just coming. While I was getting myself ready for this video, and I am coming, there we go. While I was getting myself ready for this video, I suddenly realised we have brownies in the house. And so I had to have another coffee to go with this brownie that um, I think my mum brought them over. Anyway, when there are brownies in the house, everything has to come after that, I'm afraid. So anyway, I need to plunge my coffee and then we'll talk about this light. Now, video lights are one of those things which can be extremely useful, not only for video work, but also for other types of things like photography, because I find sometimes if I'm shooting portraits or food, which I do a lot of, sorry, there we go. Um, yes, one second. The problem now is that I've got my brownie to eat and we're on video, but I'm going to have to just give this a bit of a brownie test. Hold it. Oh. Mm. Mum, you did a great job. Wow. That's got the kind of softness of the brownie with the intense flavour. Mm. Sorry, I've got to finish this. Mm. I can recommend my mum's brownies. <laughs> right. There we go. <clears throat> so, yes. Um, video lights. They are great for photography as well as video. Because if you're shooting food, you're shooting um, uh, people, that kind of thing, sometimes you don't want to use flash photography. There are times that I use flash and it works perfectly well. There are other times that I want that kind of control over the lighting. And I don't want to have some flashing going on. I want to actually just set the light up perfectly, light it with continuous lighting and just take the shots like that. There are so many times that can make a big difference to your photo shoot. Say you're in a very dark area and actually you want to ha hold it, handheld photo shoot. Really, you want the ISO to be kind of down. So you can use some continuous lights to give you a, a steady set of lighting. So there are times like that that it makes a real difference. So anyway, let's have a look at this and so it's called the, the Colbor CL100, I think. And uh, as far as I know, it comes out this week. So good timing for the video. So this is the bits and pieces that come with it. Here is the, yeah, Colbor CL100. And uh, what I'm gonna do, there it is there. I'm gonna get, get it set up. I'll show you now, it's very quick. And I've actually never ever used this light before. I, I took it out in the unboxing, but I, I put it all back away again. So I'm gonna kind of learn to use it with you. So I've taken off that hood, and then I'm assuming I just somehow, there we are, that's on. Um, I'm gonna have to nip downstairs and get myself a, a stand for here. There we are, there's the stand. I mean, there's the thing for the stand. We'll put it on there. Remote control. And uh, yeah, I'm good to go. So I'm going to get this set up. And what I'm going to do is I want to see what difference this will make to my videos. Because at the moment, I just shoot in here, in this room, with no lighting. I just let the, the window kind of do the job um, with the curtains. And it can be like good and bad. So if I pull the curtain right over, you get horrible, kind of too much light. If I close it a bit, it gets too dark and I have to up the ISO on here. So I thought a great way to test out this light would be to literally, in a minute, I'm gonna set it up, put it on, I'm gonna put it over here and I'm going to turn the light on and see what difference it makes and just see how good this is because it's such a portable box. So you could easily take this on a photo shoot or you could easily, you know, take it around with you. So yeah, let's get it set up and let's see what 
what difference it makes. Here we go. It's a little kind of pluggy thing. Aha! Let there be light! And there was! Whoa, a lot of light! Wow, that's amazing! Okay, so... Whoa! That's a serious light! It's 100 watts! Check it out! Right, well let's just put this over here. And then... Whoa, let's change... <laughs> Down we come! Okay, down to 160 ISO, and then we'll bring this here. This is like live, <laughs> live framing. Um, okay, let's bring this down. So we can see immediately, this is going to have a big effect on my light. So let's bring it back here. That's a powerful light. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get in the frame and just see how bright it is and see what it does to the... This is where I would normally have my... normally have my uh, YouTube video, but I would... Let's go back here. Okay, so I'm bringing the light back a little bit. It's powerful. <laughs> I'm breaking everything! And it's so light! Help! Oh! Right, quick, 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 turn it down. Uh, brightness. <laughs> we got no batteries. Ah! It's so bright. Wait there. <clears throat> right, so it's still quite bright and I've got it down. I mean, it's a really powerful light. 100 watts is actually not bad. Um, so it's got these different modes on it, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, but what I'm going to do is this, because if you get a video light like this and it is really bright and you want to be using it for... <laughs> that was probably really bright, wasn't it? With that gold. If you want to be using these video lights, they basically, on the back of them, you've got the dial to turn um, the, the adjustment for the power. You've got the dial to adjust um, the different type of light you'd like. So you can go from... Uh, 2700k all the way up to 6500 I think um, so you can really good adjustment between daylight and, and tungsten um, and this is what you're going to need because this should diffuse the light because it's so harsh without the diffuser so all these night lights need some kind of diffusion on them to help to um, balance the light now I can't see what it's doing now so normally I'd be adjusting it to match but uh, it'd be interesting to see whether now this is a better um, a better look. And if it is, then I would, you know, re have this basically on a stand, um, which would then give a nice soft light over the person. Now this kind, if you buy one of these reflectors, these are only like twenty five pounds or something, very cheap. Um, and uh, literally, when you take off all the all the reflecting bits in the middle, you've got just this thing, which is it's basically like a scrim. A scrim is basically a diffuser. And here it is. So let me stand this up and see if this does a good job. Okay, so now, hopefully, I've got a little bit of diffused light coming on here on your left side with the window kind of giving me a little bit of light on my other side. Um, that will make a difference. I can close that and see how that's any better. So, <laughs> this is my calamitous YouTube review. The thing is, is that with these types of lights, you're really looking to add what's missing. It's really important with lighting, is that when you, when you kind of look at your scene and see where you are, and see what you've got before you, the best thing to do is to think, right, what have I got that's natural? And then how can I add around it to fill in the gaps? Um, now this kind of light is actually quite a powerful light. 100 watts is a good light for a video light. And so, it's um it's doing a very good job in here and it's it's a very um consistent light um i've got it right down now at daylight so it's not too um not too orange i can change it a bit let's have a look let's 
So I'm going to now make it, let's press the button and I'm going to bring it right down to about, bring it down to 5,100k. And so let's see what that does and see if that's a bit softer, which it should be. Now there is a remote control, which really would be easier to be using that. Um, but I need to get that set up properly with some batteries. But basically the remote control, obviously, if you've got the light really high, then you can just mess about with that. Um, so yeah, so the light has got like a candle mode, it's got a bonfire mode, it's got a, a lightning mode, it's got um, a flash mode. It basically these different kind of fun settings that if you were making a film and you wanted to have a bit of flashing light or um, a candle light, which is a kind of flickering, you know, you've, you've got that on, on the light, which is quite cool, it's quite fun. Um, and again, like I said before, you can use this kind of light for portraits. So you could actually easily, um, if you were photographing somebody, you could easily just like plonk them in this chair and, you know, um, light them in and create some Rembrandt lighting. Um, maybe at some point I'll do a, a video on how to create the Rembrandt lighting and how to light a portrait. Um, but for this, it's more about a demonstration of the fact that the light, you know, what it does and the fact that it's here. Um, so yeah, I think this is quite a fun light, quite cool. Um, I'm going to link below if you want to um, see it on Amazon. And uh, yeah, I think <laughs> in uh, my quick review, I think it does the job. Um, very portable. It's got this obviously the uh, little strap for it, which you can um, use if you wish. And uh, yeah, it's got the lighting stuff. It's not bad. I like it. Thanks. Right. Um, don't forget my Patreon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Cheers. So the best way to explain this is it's got this dial here so you can switch between all the way down to 3000, no, 2700K, which obviously I'll jump, I won't jump in because you won't see me, but um, you can see how orange that goes all the way up to 6500k so that's basically daylight and more um, and anywhere in between which is quite useful it's got these things here called these modes so you can go for candle so what I'll do is I'll move this slightly here and you can see the effects of these but these so that's candle it's got this one's called bonfire Then it's got this one, which is called breathing. It's got this one, which is called faulty bulb. Okay. It's got this one called flash. <laughs> it's got lightning. <laughs> 